Hi, Corey with Gold Rush Expeditions. We're here out at the Burgiosa Mine in southwestern Montana, Beaverhead County today. We are at the lowermost workings of the mine right now. We've got a few cabins up above us that are actually in very good repair. We've got a road that is passable for the most part by a full-size vehicle, as long as you drive careful. Four-wheel drive, high clearance. What we're looking at here is where an adit used to be. The adit was likely right around in here. You can see a little bit of breaks and some holes in the back here and where this has been purposely pushed down. Whether this was a claimant or whether this was the Forest Service is really difficult to know at this point. It's been closed for a while, but there is still some air coming out a little bit. I'm catching that, that smell of dank, deep mine is coming out a little bit. So that's a very good sign. There's a little trench here that I'm assuming is dug to catch water. You can see some of the minerals they've been looking at. We've got some dark iron underneath here. The rock here is really porous, uh, very volcanic, almost like a pumice-like. But then you have very thick, heavy minerals, which is gonna be your metals, that are running through it as well. So very interesting combination of geology here. There's been a lot done here, obviously. We're sitting on a stack of tailings that is just enormous enough to park you can park probably eight trucks down here on all the tailings they pulled out of the mine so that gives you an idea how big it is right now let's make our way up to the other workings right, so we are on the Rosa claims i'm actually walking down the road it's hasn't been driven in a long time but overall it would be really easy to drive right up to where this cabin that's coming up is. Now, I don't know about you, but in my personal opinion, this is a beautiful spot to have a cabin. So there you see it. And look at that view. Pretty gorgeous, right? Overall, not in horrible shape. Mostly still standing. Could be cleaned up a little bit to use with your mining operations up here. I'm gonna go ahead and get some pictures. Hey look, it's property of the United States. I saw that. Wow. How's your American citizenship working out? Amazing. That means it belongs to you. Like the top of the burgey. Top of the burge. Pretty sure that's your direction. Here's building number two. I love the brick exterior. It's like a Let's go uh, mine shops. Okay. Building wise, it's not a. Uh... First one of this is here. We're going to put our signage up so that nobody ends up out here messing with our stuff. What did you spy there? Some iron in this oh. rock. It's always a good sign. It's a great sign. Looks like you're coming up to a little waste dump there. Not waste dump, like a miner dump. Miner crack pile. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's an Olympia beer. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, fun. And what is it you're doing there? Oh, just putting the Discovery Monument in. So this has our certificate of locations that have been sort of um, 
see where the clown claim boundaries are on the map plus all the corners get stakes or markers as well gotcha that's a four by four as is required in montana correct four by four because we're all about following their rules certificate of location so we just finished putting the discovery monument in here overgrown but yeah there's definitely some waste dump under all this here okay on to the next got our sign here good to go and wow what's that right behind our sign oh my gosh it's a whole big mine so first as we did we go over here you can see kind of a, sorry about that crazy camera. There's some uh, really interesting dump rock here that they pulled out. Might be a little hard to discern. This is right on the back side of that other portal we just looked at. Looks like there may have been a tree that fell over here. And that's what collapsed this. So we're gonna come up and over and around to the top of that. It is really steep up here. We're on the edge of a gulch. Here's our money. Okay. That's going to be our burgy. Okay. Portal is collapsed there. And this was a big mine. How can I tell this was a big mine? Okay. Take a look here. See? They've been sharpening bits. Try making some notations. You can see the big timber on the front here. And with minimal effort, I mean, you could get in. There's got a couple of spots up here. You, know, you could get into these workings. You can see they uh, brought a bunch of rock here, rocked up the entrance both sides. Let's take a look at what they're getting out. See that in the dump. So, we have a couple of piles here. Let's take a look. So, we have a dump over here. We have a dump here. And a dump over here. So, what am I learning from these three dumps? Of what was coming out. I've got some material here unrelated to our dump and then I've got this dump out here. To me this honestly looks like this was a this was just going to be their interesting rock that they wanted to set aside for something because it's not set in the rest of the dump. What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? Well I'll tell you what it means. So this right here you can see they put trim they put timbers on and this had track coming from the mine so the fact they put timbers on it and tracked it says hey we're not going to dig any of this up this is settled this is done this is junk rock that we don't care about this over here is set aside for a reason now we'll get some samples of this see what the assay values are but i would be willing to bet that this little dump out here is going to show some much better values than, say, this. 
This right here is a little interesting also that I'm standing on because it is a little dump. It's bypassed by the rest of the dump and where it would have been tracked out. So we'll get some samples from that as well. That little guy might be a little high grade pump, might not. This material almost looks like it was milled. Probably not, but you can see some interesting more bits in it of the quartz. Why do you care about the quartz? Quartz is usually where your gold and mineralization is going to be at, so showing that they hit quartz somewhere is hugely valuable and will probably lead to the uh, geological assessment there of what may or may not be here. At the end of the day, the uh, quote geology really doesn't matter, hill of shit. It's what you actually find in the mine. Looks like our second mine is going to be right over here. And I can see the waste dump so far, same type of ore. Lots of quartz. This one looks like it's been trenched. This was mined for gold and silver in the past. Lots of mines in the area and big mines in the area. It will be a summer only project as the winters are gonna be harsh up here and you probably aren't going to be able to get to this site. No more clues except for that this is the waste dump, as you can see. And then you can see the big trench behind us there. So we're up here at one of the upper workings of the Burgiosa right now. As you can see, unfortunately, the Forest Service has kind of destroyed the entrance for us. In all honesty, it's really not going to be that big of a hassle to open up the old wood up, move some of the rocks, boom, you're going to be in. This is in hard rock, so once you're to where the mine is, it's all good. Right here below me are some old drill holes. Um, why there's three drill holes here? Not for sure. It may have been miners screwing off. Maybe they were getting paid to do something. They didn't know exactly what to do, and they said, well, then we'll just sit here and drill holes till you do it, tell us what to do. I don't know. One of the things we find a lot here at Gold Rush is that the USGS information, while it's casually interesting, doesn't have a whole lot of really good information. For instance, this large mine, which I know it's a large mine from all the tailings, I'd probably guess you're 1,500 feet-ish, doesn't show up with the USGS. They don't know it exists here. It's not on any maps. This mine actually shows us two prospects. No adits, no actual mines, just two little prospects, which it's obviously not. There's been a lot of work that's gone on here. There's been a lot of gold that's extracted here and there's a lot of gold that is still here. Well, it looks very porous, it's still very heavy, which indicates it's carrying a lot of random things with it. Those random things are probably gonna be metals. It's possible there could be gems in some of this because gems like to form in little voids and vugs. And this rock is chock full of voids and vugs. And this is a good, sign and a good show of the porous rock that Jess is looking at here. So you can see the caverns and vugs in it. The vugs are just voids in it. So this rock that it's in is ideal for not only getting out your veins of gold, but for getting large, large bodies of ore that are nearly pure gold. You hear about them occasionally. Sometimes they call them the mother load that basically you're following a vein and then it opens up into a big nodule and it's all pure gold. This type of stuff with the vugs and the voids and all that and the volcanic activity is prime for that. So likely that is what the miners were working out here. You can see quartz in it. It's just really awesome. And something like this that hasn't been worked for a while is going to give you really good potential to pull a lot of gold out and make a good amount of money if you have the fortitude to work it. All right, so I just hiked up the road back to house number two. So again, in 
old brick or cot or facade or however you say it. Again, in pretty good shape. Could be used in support of your mining operations. Hi. Hopefully I didn't get shot. Right? No. Yeah, probably only a few more years in this building. Once yeah. the mining company that comes up and starts it does some preservation and like restores this just for interpretive. That would be awesome. Okay. So we're a little above our shaft here. Or our added, I should say. See it there. We have a little dig here. May or may not be related to our mine. You can see they're close. But I have a little muck plate here. And I also have some timbers sitting up here. Kind of almost looks like somebody was digging going in here. And loading up and shipping out this road. Don't bother the trees because they've not been here for long. But you can see this was a defined road before the trees grew on it. So we're going to kind of follow this road. See where it gets us. The size of these trees gives us kind of a good idea of how long it's been since this has actually been worked. So that's where the trees came up. Here's our road. Continuing up and out. That way. Take a look at some of the construction here. Kind of gives you your uh, your 60s, 70s. The last time this was going. A little paint bucket. The original construction. Super cool there. Heater slash furnace, bed springs. The kitchen, freezer. Now none of this is related to what you're going to buy with the mining claim. But what's interesting is just trying to figure out the history of this and maybe any little details that you can about when people were here and what they did here and how that all worked out. So you can see there was some sort of sheet rocking of some sort. Really nice little spot, very functional. You can see the tilt. That tilt is not by camera, that is the actual building. See if we can scare a bear. So here are the upper cabin of the Burgiosa. This is the larger cabin of the two, but they're both in pretty good shape. These can be used in support of your mining operation. All you need is a plan of operations. Put it in, the Forest Service can't deny you your, especially as far up as you are here, that this is just safe, it's better for you to be up here, and you can restore a little piece of history up here. So when you've been working all day and you've been breaking out gold and you're all excited, but you're all tired, um, it does offer a really nice place to just sit back and relax, have a beer, maybe have a smoke little Prince Albert in a can here. If you need any help with writing your plan of operations or with a notice of intent to make your claim fully legit and make sure that you're not messed with up here, make sure you give us a call. Our phone number is 385-218-2138 and our website is www.goldrushexpeditions.com. That'll give you more pictures, more video, more information on this claim, everything you need to make an educated purchase. So for Gold Rush Expeditions, I'm Corey and we will see you at the next site.